Hello and welcome to the Morello showroom at Schlüsselfeld in Northern Bavaria. So as well as new vehicles, they have some used vehicles here. This is a used vehicle. It's got just under 70,000 kilometers on the clock. It dates to 2016. Asking price is in excess of 200,000 euros. And let's have a look at it. Now, uh, that being a used vehicle, then uh, it's, it mightn't like the way it looks or the layout or something like this. This uh, was probably um, built in many cases for the person who ordered it. Now, some things have now look completely different in new uh, Morellos. Uh, this, I think, this feature in the steps, they still have drawers in the steps. I think it's a really useful feature, just somewhere to stick your uh, shoes as you, uh, as you come in. Uh, down they've got the um, leveling system. And so we come in here. Now, uh, I think it does look a little bit dated, a little bit dated. It was only six years ago, probably 16 by the time I get this actually up on the internet. Now the color scheme does look a bit like Cartago does for the darker wood, but the floor, I can't think of anybody just <laughs> like, like that. So that's very unusual. It is somewhat dark, of course. I mean, uh, being in this, this location indoors uh, doesn't necessarily help make it look any brighter. Uh, so th this type of bed is, uh, I don't think they actually do it in the newer vehicles any longer. At least as I, from what I'm speaking now, with it, they, they're not doing it, I think. What is good, of course, you've got proper drawers below. Uh, we've got, um, they're now using much thicker mattresses and we've got this system below. I come to the back uh, down here, you can see into the, there's the wardrobe and with additional storage down there. Now, I always tell people when they, to buy, not to buy motorhomes, right? It's the first thing I say, don't buy motorhomes. That may seem a bit odd for somebody who is on doing this, <laughs> but the point of not buying motorhomes, I say rent them first, okay? Rent them, you might like it, you know, and it's not for everybody. And I do know of cases where people actually got motorhomes that they didn't like because they they write to me because i want to sell them and uh anyway so that's the first thing don't buy but if you are going to buy something buy a used vehicle something like this strikes me as being a pretty good idea because even if it does cost two hundred and six thousand, and even and i believe it might well have cost less than two hundred and six thousand new uh, in the current market, um, that is the price of mightn't, mightn't be such a bad price. I imagine, hard for me to say, but get, if you can get something which is nearly new, I'm not suggesting necessarily it has to be a Morello because it's pretty expensive, but uh, if you can get something which is nearly new or one careful owner, you don't want somebody like me who's not careful, but a proper uh, careful who hardly ever uses it. That is the ideal, as with any vehicle. So that's what uh, I think that one, one should do. Right, so uh, we have this uh, dressing area here, which I shall now demonstrate. So there is me in the mirror with my Gymnavoda t-shirt. And over here, we can also close this off like this. Uh, today's a Friday. I'm always concerned if I close something like this off, I get locked in and uh, uh, <laughs> I can't get out. Uh, I did get once locked in a, a Dusseldorf. Uh, at uh, yeah, those are sure on stand. I left. I left me getting locked in on the uh, on, in the video, so uh, you you can actually see that video of me getting uh, locked in. Because uh, the uh, I got locked in because the the lock on one of the locks broke, and I couldn't. I was I was stuck. I could have got of course I jumped out the, the the window, and that wasn't a problem. Anyway, good. So 
enormous. Look, look, it's really, really big. It's all of this space. And look how big the shower is as well. Oh, that's great. Now, yeah, I'll stand next to the, no, 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 top of the, oh, yeah, can you see me there? There, uh, there, there we go. There we go. Look how big it is. There. Enormous. So if I move my hand around a bit, you can see how big the shower is. Let's open this here. Now, maybe the owner brought this one in as a, as a trade-in. I think that's perfectly possible. Or indeed, you know, people get a bit older and decide that it's not really, not really for them. Uh, and let's face it, most of the buyers for things like this, at least in Germany, tend to be people who are well into retirement. And uh, a friend of mine says what he's going to do, he's going to, as soon as he retires, he's going to get himself a Morello and he's just going to forget he's got a house outside. What do you think of these lights? I mean, this, this I think the owner put these things in. and They look like fuses to me. Right, very nice here, large uh, skylight. Show you down here as well. In the current market, it is quite difficult to buy motorhomes, new ones. Um, the, for example, um, the Fiat has had all sorts of problems with its production lines and uh, because of getting parts, Mercedes has had them too, although it seems to resolve them. Volkswagen seems to be the best bet as a base vehicle. It seems to me to have less problems. Oh, Ford also uh, has had fewer problems. Okay, how well is Iveco doing? I don't know, but these are largely based on the Iveco chassis. There's some of them on the Mercedes as well. There we have the fridge, a three-way fridge. Up here, there is an oven. Uh, this thing here also comes out, but I won't be doing it because it says it's broken. And up here, we have got the, uh, I think that's the internet. And it, some other electronic device, GPS. What's that? Yeah. And uh, if you, whatever you think of these glass cabinets, these things here, they'll think to be a complete waste of time. I can't see the point of that at all. Do you know? Worse over here. What, what can you do with that? Don't know. So, uh, thank you. Gives you a good look around. Right, then we'll have a look on the outside as much as is possible because it's against the wall. They might be able to get in. Storage cabinets. There's a really large garage. Takes 250 um, kilos. This one's got a rear camera. Wouldn't want to do anything without a rear camera. I don't know if it comes with this or not. No, I really would like to do more used vehicles on this site. The problem is finding them. And by the time they are, um, you know, by the time I get something up, they're gone. This is a seller's market. If this thing cost you, to, uh, sorry, this thing now, the owner wants 200, and so the, the, the company wants 206,000. I suspect that the original purchase price was very similar. I don't know, but, but I'm not suggesting under any means that buying a motorhome is an investment. So please bear that one in mind so uh thanks very much for watching i uh, hope you found this of interest and uh all the best from me in schlusselfeld in germany <laughs>